good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, crap walk music. So, Brother Brandon sent me this story today. And, guys, it's coming from China. So, Dima, let's fly all the way to China right now. And, okay, so we have a father who is unidentified, okay? And this is a real story, guys. Here's a screenshot of the article. It's on Yahoo. And he has a five-year-old son. And there are photos of this boy. Um, it's not showing his face, but this is him right here. The young man is five years old. He is going by the pseudonym of Zhao Rui, or Rui. Sorry about, about that. It's out of the show. If I mispronounce his name, I am not Chinese, so I don't know the enunciation. But his father dropped him off at school. This is normal. The father never picked him up. And we don't know why. Can I get a da 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 sound effect? Well, somehow the father took a paternity test and realized that he was not the boy's biological father. God damn. And when he realized that, he called the school and told them that the kid was now the school's problem. Now, the teacher named Mr. Chin stated that his backpack was packed with a change of clothes as well as a mobile phone. So to me, it must have meant that the father understood that the child was not his um, and then knew that before he dropped him off. So after abandoning him, the father remained in contact with the school but refused to pick up the boy. The teacher stopped by the house and discovered that it was empty. Stop the show. The father has moved out, took all his shit and bounced. <clears throat> now, police contacted Zhao's grandfather and uncle, who both declined to pick him up. Now, it is his alleged grandfather and uncle because he's not biologically theirs. So they didn't pick his ass up either because, well, he's not their kid. He's not their relative. <clears throat> now, he was left at kindergarten for five days. The five-year-old boy is now being picked up by his biological mother. People were outraged and many expressed sorrow for the young man. Somebody says this, he should be playing at his age, but now he is like this and his life has just begun. He can't give up. There is really no way. Look at his innocent back. It's really poignant. Other people's children are pampered like babies, but he has to face the cruelty of the adult world. Well, it's, and I understand the kid is five. He didn't have any choice in the matter. However, what about the mother? I know people say, well, you blame women too much. She had a baby by another man, and you're expecting that some other man to take care of him so much so that you had to trick him. So how does he deal with him? It's your problem. Now, I want to talk to guys like this in the black community because we tend not to do those sorts of things. And I know why, because, you know, Americans are more... I think caring than some people may be in other countries, but the way that they're dealing with this is, you know, it's a harsh way for the child to be dealt with, but it does give a lesson over fairly clear. And that lesson is this. You will not have a baby by another man lie to me and expect me to take care of it. There are consequences for actions and see the women in these communities, they know that if they are found out doing stuff like this, those dudes are done with them. They're done. Those dudes are not putting up with that at all. Okay? That is why I believe a lot of women in China, in comparison to our community, they like the men in, in, in those communities, they're going to make sure that those women, you know, but if you get me to take care of you, you're going to follow some of these guidelines here. Whereas in America... Something like this is totally okay. And if a guy does this, he's going to get bashed. If a guy does this, like, nope, they my son take care of him. Well, he ain't the baby's fault. Well, I get it. But it's somebody's fault. And that man and his family shouldn't have to be forced to take care of that kid. And I know that's cruel. But, but why can't the real father take care of the kid? Oh, because <clears throat> the mother knows that the real father won't do anything for the child. It's somebody that she is messing with, cheating on the side with. And that guy can't take care of the kid. So she wants another man to do it. 
you can't have your cake and eat it too. Come deal with your with this child. Huh? Come get him. And I felt like if more men had that kind of mentality, it would it would make women in the communities here make better choices. Because if you want this man to take care of your kid, then you need to pick the right guy. Now, what are you seeing now on the dating shows like Kendra G? Kendra G, other shows. You will have women coming over there with four kids. I have four kids. Like, they're just so entitled. They can tell you, I got four kids. You need to take care of all of these kids. I, I'm letting you know that they ain't theirs. At least here in, in, in these countries, they're trying to trick them. But, you know, these kids ain't there. All right? These kids do not belong to them. Yet, what do you see, guys? What do you see? Expecting guys to take care of it. No. Because you're encouraging bad behavior, guys. You're encouraging bad behavior. Okay? If you want that child to have a father, marry the man that you want to be with, and don't use another man for his resources and for his money and his time and his family, leading them to believe that they're the kid's father. Okay? And I can still see that people feel sorry for the kid, but nobody's blaming the mother. She's the one that lied. So unfortunately, the kid has to pay the price, but it's her fault for putting the kid in the situation. She should go back to the father of the kid, but we all know something. The father of the kid ain't got no money or can't take care of him, or, or most likely, she was attracted to him the most. Listen, I tell every dude this. If women want to deal with guys, let those dudes take care of them. You want this dude to be your husband? Don't ask me for something. Let the guy take care of you. Okay, let him deal with you. Don't ask me for something that, you know, if you feel like the guy is better for you, let him take care of you. Stop asking guys to take care of kids that ain't ours. Go to the guys you're dealing with, you want to be with, let them take care of you. And if they don't want to take care of them, if you got to lie, it says something about you. Why can't you get the guy that you want to be with to take care of you? You have a baby by a guy, in this case, that won't do anything for you. But yet you have this innocent guy believing he is a father. It's unfair to the kid. It's unfair to the grandmother or the lady who thinks it's the grandmother, the man who thinks it's the grandfather, because they're all spending money on this kid, creating a bond with this kid. It's not fair. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of Celebrity Drunk. I appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check the first link at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out. <laughs>